Hey, my friends, Tony here from Elevated. Uh, I wanna share with you something that happened as I was driving the other day. As I was driving, I was thinking about this word, dream. And what I've found is I've coached a lot of people all over the world, and I've coached with some of the best experts in the world, that it is very difficult for some people to really dream, for them to get outside of their logic, to get outside of their memory, and to truly dream, and to truly achieve their dreams, to, to get into the moments where, where they can begin to see them manifested in their lives. See, I want to help you create dreams and achieve dreams. And so I came up with a little acronym, and, and through this segment and several other segments, I'm going to share with you this little acronym and what it means to you. So today I'll share with you the D of dream, and then the rest you'll see in other segments of uh, the R and the E and the A and the M. But the D for dream is to truly dream, to desire. So it's, it's dream desire, kind of co going together here, these two words. So what are you dreaming about? Not just dreaming in sleep and when you put your head on the pillow, but what are your dreams? What are your aspirations in life? What are your desires? Because here's what I found with most people. Most people have desire every day to be a little bit better today than they were yesterday, to make a little bit more money, to love a little bit more, to become more, to serve more. And they want to do, be, have, give, serve, love more. That's a desire that's innate in all of us. It doesn't matter who you are. I know everyone. It might be a little tiny bit that you have this desire or a big lot, lot that you have every morning. But everyone has a desire to be, do, have, give, serve, and love a little bit more. So everyone has desire. But this is what happens with most people. They reject the desire as, not me. I can't do that. That's for them. That's for the experts. That's for the celebrities. That's for the very talented people. But that's, that's not me. I'm, I'm not good enough. And then what we do is we suppress the desire. Not today. Not today. Maybe another day. And we suppress the desire. And then eventually we stop dreaming. And a lot of people are stuck in this. That they just stop dreaming. So, so I want you to analyze your life. When was the last time you truly dreamt? Think about this just for a moment here. Is what you're achieving today your dream? Or was it somebody else's dream that was thrust upon you? Maybe a parent's, maybe a coach or a mentor's, maybe a, a friend, maybe your spouse. Was your dream thrust upon you? Or are you truly allowing your desire to come out and flourish? So the very first part to dreaming is you got to dream. You got to have desires. And then we'll go through all of the others of the acronym here. But the very first part is what do you desire? What is it that's trying to come out that you keep suppressing and saying, no, not today? Is it the piano? Is it to be a chef or a cook? Is it to write your own book or create a musical? What is it that you've always dreamt about, but you keep suppressing? Write it down today. Maybe comment on this, on this segment today of, hey, here's, here's my dream segment or comment for us. Let us know what, what is your dream. I want to know it because right now today I'm fulfilling mine and I want to help you fulfill yours. What are you dreaming? Of?